Why hello everyone, Zerishin here, and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you five of the differences between Bedrock and Java. I'm not going to try to criticize the two, I'm simply going to explain some of the differences between them. So yeah, let's get into it. Before we start, I do want to clarify that these facts might change at a later date. For the first fact, we have trapdoors. In Java, when you open a trapdoor, you are inside the hitbox, and then when you open it, you are then put into the crawling position. Now this can be used to get into smaller areas in your base, or make it easier to get down into a secret part of your base that you don't want anyone to know. However, in the Bedrock version, you don't quite do that. Instead, it's like your face through the block when you close it down on you, which then when you jump, you are now on top of the trapdoor. This has its uses, but it would be cool to be able to get into the crawling position as easily as you can in Java. Right now, the only way to do that is by swimming currently, which isn't always the most practical use. Next up, we have the void. Believe it or not, the void in each version is kind of different. In Bedrock, there's a floor, and you don't die when you go down there in creative mode. However, when you're in Java, you could keep falling forever. And even if you're in creative, the void slowly does kill you, which can seem a little violent in my opinion. The next fact is about item frames. Now, in Bedrock, as you can see, item frames cannot be placed right next to each other. Now, this has its advantages and disadvantages, which we'll get into in a moment. Now, as you can see in Java, you can put them right next to each other, or you could place some blocks next to them, such as flower pots. Now, I think this is really, really cool, and I would love to have this in Bedrock, and you can make all sorts of things using this effect, such as wallpapers and such. And another thing is you can make something called an infinity room, and these can be very, very disorienting. The next thing is arrows. Now, normally arrows are pretty much the same, but tipped arrows are another thing. Well, I mean, crafting these items are different. Because in Bedrock, you can put potions in a cauldron, and then, then you can use said cauldron to tip your arrows. Although in Java, you have to use a lingering potion. And the way you make lingering potions is you have to make a potion, and then you have to make it into a splash potion, and then with that splash potion, you have to use dragon's breath to make it into a lingering potion, and then you have to put it in the middle of a crafting table, and then put eight arrows around it. And then voila, you have tipped arrows. Now the downside to this is it means you have to wait to make these until later in the game, versus where you can just make them pretty early on in Bedrock. And yeah, I just think this fact is kind of weird, but let me know what you think of it. And last but not least, this fact doesn't really... It, wouldn't, it won't really bother you depending on what kind of player you are. And that is the F3 screen. Now the F3 screen is a screen that displays all sorts of information on screen, such as coordinates and light level, mobile mirror, and so much more. Although, in Bedrock, we don't quite have this feature. I mean, sure, you can toggle on coordinates in the world-making screen, and you could guess what kind of biome you're in, but we have no way to tell what kind of light level it is. I would love to see this feature added in at a later date, because I think this feature would be really useful to the people who play Bedrock, so we know when it hits light level zero. Because then you can still make dimly lit passageways, but you wouldn't have to worry about mobs all the time. And with that, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, for it would really help me out a lot. My current goal is to get 100 subscribers to unlock community posts. And with that, I shall see you guys all next time. Zerushin out!